In 2002, the Anaheim Angels won their first World Series in the history of their franchise. This team was led by names like Tim Salmon, Troy Gloss, Garrett Anderson, and Troy Percival. They would win 99 games and finish second in the AL West. After beating the Yankees and Twins to claim the AL pennant, they would face off against the San Francisco Giants in the 2002 World Series. That San Francisco Giants team had a very well-known player at the time that went by the name of Barry Bonds, who that season posted an insane 268 OPS plus and a 1,381 OPS. Despite Bonds' best efforts to gain his first ring and the Giants taking a commanding 3-2 series lead, the Angels would come back and capture their first World Series. The team seemed to have a bright future, but after missing the playoffs in the following 2003 season, they'd have two more playoff appearances in 2004 and 2005, but would lose in the ALDS and ALCS. They would then miss the playoffs again in 2006, but would make the playoffs three times following that, but none of their playoff runs being very substantial as they lost in the ALDS in 2007 and 2008, and lost in the ALCS in 2009. Following the 2009 season, fan favorite Vladimir Guerrero would leave the Angels, but in that year's draft, the Angels would make a decision that looked to save the franchise that was fading into the sunset. They took a shot on a high school outfielder from Vinland, New Jersey, and Mike Trout. This decision would of course take some time to pay off though, as it took Trout until 2012 to become a mainstay on the big league roster, but once he came up to the big leagues, he immediately left his mark. He took off out of the gates, stealing a league-leading 49 bases along with hitting 30 homers and having a league-leading 168 OPS plus and 10.5 R-War, and finished second in the MVP voting. Due to this campaign, Trout would receive the unanimous 2012 AL Rookie of the Year award and be named an All-Star. Along with Trout, the Angels also had brought in the best hitter of the prior decade in Albert Pujols, who was expected to play a huge role in this roster. The Angels did miss the playoffs in 2012, but with the players of Trout and Pujols' caliber on their team, it seemed like the Angels were beginning to steer onto the right path at getting their second championship. In the following 2013 season, the Angels would yet again miss out on the playoffs, this time by a large margin of 14 games due to their 78 and 84 record, but Trout had another amazing season with an even better 178 OPS plus, and it was named an All-Star again and finished second in the MVP voting once again. Along his side, he had Albert Pujols, Josh Hamilton, and Howie Kendrick in the lineup, which looked very good, but it was the pitching that was their downfall as they only had four pitchers post above 100 ERA pluses. It seemed like the Angels just needed some pitching to become real contenders, and in 2014, their fortune would change as they saw eight pitchers post 100 ERA pluses, and along with an entire lineup that posted above 103 OPS pluses, led by another spectacular season by Mike Trout with a 169 OPS plus, took home his first MVP, and the Angels saw their first playoff berth during the Mike Trout era after a 98-win season. Sadly, it would end quickly as they lost in the ALDS 3-0 to the eventual AL pennant winners Kansas City Royals, but the future looked bright, and this seemed to be the start of many more. Sadly for the Angels in 2015, they lost a ton of key guys in the lineup, which resulted in a lineup that only had 5 players post above 100 OPS pluses, and with the pitching slightly deteriorating down to 6 players above 100 ERA pluses, the Angels missed out on the playoffs by 3 games after winning 85 games. Following such a disappointing year, the Angels decided to rebrand from the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim to the Los Angeles Angels. Um, yeah, that happened. Anyways, the Angels had yet again the attention of the baseball world and had high expectations coming into the 2016 season and were expected to take that next step, but they would disappoint yet again and fall flat on their faces as the pitching staff completely fell apart with injuries and underperformance and only saw 5 pitchers post above 100 ERA pluses and the lineup still only had 5 players posting above 100 OPS pluses, so they collapsed and missed the playoffs by 24 games, as they could only win 74 games despite another great year from Mike Trout as he won his second MVP. Now that they wasted an MVP season from Trout, they couldn't do that again, so what did they do? Add absolutely no notable names and hope it would fix itself. Well, for the Angels, it didn't work, as they missed the playoffs for the third straight year, only winning 80 games, and this time it was fully on the lineup, as only two players, only two, could post above 100 OPS pluses, and of course, one of them was Mike Trout with an outstanding 186 OPS plus, and the Angels yet again had to watch another year wasted during the Mike Trout era. Now they weren't going to do the same thing they did the prior offseason, so they went out and signed the biggest player on the market in Japanese superstar Shohei Otani, who is a two-way beast in Japan to pair with Mike Trout. Now they had even more hype going into 2018 with this new signing and still having Mike Trout on the roster, and the hype was worth it for those two as Otani posted a 151 OPS plus and a 3.31 ERA in 52 innings and took home AL Rookie of the Year. Trout had yet another great year posting a 198 OPS plus, but I think we can all guess what happened yet again as the Angels only won 80 games and missed out on the playoffs again. 
Now, despite that, it was impossible to think that this would keep happening with the caliber of players the Angels had, so once again, the Angels were expected to be serious contenders, along with bringing in new manager Brad Asmus. Well, Trout would capture his third MVP after yet another great year, and despite not being able to pitch, Otani posted a 121 OPS+, plus, but the result wouldn't change as the team finished with somehow an even more disappointing record of 72 and 90. It just seemed like it couldn't get any worse for the Angels, and they went out and made sure it wouldn't that offseason by adding reinforcements by bringing in Anthony Rendon from the Nationals. Now, the 2020 season was a weird one, and you can't really blame a team that was held together by tape to do so bad in such a weird season, so we'll give them some slack for missing the playoffs in 2020 even though they were expanded, but in 2021, they had no excuse. Well, out of the gate, Mike Trout was still on the team, but he was dealing with injuries all year and missed a ton of time, along with their new signing, Anthony Rendon, who also missed a ton of time as well. But they had another MVP on their team in Otani, who broke out, posting a 157 OPS plus and a 3.18 ERA in 130 innings. They had a player post above 10 R war once again, but missed the playoffs once again. This team seemed like they hit rock bottom, but yet in 2022, they'd find a way to do it again as despite another spectacular year from Shohei and a slightly healthier Mike Trout who had a 176 OPS plus in 119 games, missed the playoffs yet again. And along with that, Anthony Rendon, who they signed to a huge contract in 2019, had played only 157 games out of 384 possible games. He was a disastrous signing, and this team just couldn't have that along with all their other dysfunctionalness, so this led to yet another year wasted and another chance at the playoffs missed. Despite now 8 straight years of disappointment in missing the playoffs, they yet again at least had the expectation that they would make the playoffs going into 2023. Well, I'll just start with telling you that one thing didn't change, as Anthony Rendon only played 43 games in 2023, just like some of his previous seasons before. Despite this, Trout and Otani still showed up with Trout posting a 131 OPS plus and Otani having one of the greatest seasons ever posting a 184 OPS plus while leading the league in home runs, on base percentage, slugging percentage, OPS, OPS plus, and pitching to a 3.14 ERA. But even with all this, the Angels missed the playoffs again. And better yet, at the trade deadline, they went all in, trading for names like Eduardo Escobar, Lucas Giolito, Randall Grochik, and CJ Krohn. Despite all of that, they went on to perform horribly in the second half of the season and ended up putting all of those players on waivers, essentially admitting defeat and giving up. What makes this season even more disappointing was that Otani was on the last year of his deal this season, and as of December 9th, 2023, he has now officially left the Angels and joined the Dodgers. So since 2012, this team had 5 MVPs, and those MVPs were on the same team for 5 years along with plenty of other notable players alongside them, and they got one playoff berth one, and it came nine years ago, and they got swept in the ALDS. It is safe to say that the Angels got dealt the best hand possible and have completely lost everything with it, as they have proved that they are the worst organization in baseball.